Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is Steve DeBreach coming to you here today. Um, listening to the Wrestling Observer Radio today. Lots of news in there. Um, they, were, they talked about the NXT show last night, Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe. Uh, Samoa Joe is going to be taking on Finn Balor at the uh, upcoming NXT TakeOver in Dallas. Um, WWE um, breaking their personal uh, attendance record at WrestleMania 32. Uh, lots of things going on uh, in the world of professional wrestling leading up until WrestleMania 32. But the, the one thing that really struck me is probably the biggest news of the day that wasn't even really reported on any of the, the secondhand wrestling sites. It didn't get a headline because I don't think many people know this guy's name and know who he is. But um, for people who know why NXT is a, as a cess, uh, the one thing that's in my mind is that I think one of the best things that NXT has working for it is, you know, basically Triple H is the booker. Triple H is the figurehead of the company. Uh, he is the guy that basically sets what's going on. But behind the scenes, they've got one writer, Ryan Ward. Um, and I think that's one of the, the biggest things that, that NXT has working for it is that, you know, they've only got one guy writing the show. Uh, I, I give it to you that it's only one hour of television a week. And, um, and most of the time, it, it's really, really good. Sometimes they have some jobberish shows. It has a little bit of 80s style booking that goes along with it on these uh, NXT shows. And, and that's why I really like it. But uh, this week, Ryan Ward uh, was promoted uh, from NXT and will be joining the SmackDown writing uh, team. Um, I, I, I don't like this. Some people might think that, you know, WWE is trying to turn SmackDown around, you know, with bringing in Ronaldo. Uh, to do the the announcing, it's really given the, the the show sort of a new edge, and uh, people really like what's going on there. They think maybe if they get better uh, better writers, the show will turn better. My problem with, with Ryan Ward going up and, and and being put on SmackDown is, you know, WWE has a crew of about eighteen writers for Raw and eighteen writers for SmackDown. Um, you know, Ryan Ward being the guy who's the solo writer of NXT, going up there and joining a, a, a team of writers, um, we're basically from listening to a lot of uh, podcasts, um, like with Court Bauer or, um, uh, or, uh, what's, what's the Greeny's real name? I can't think of what his name, but he was the head writer of SmackDown for years. Um, you know, they, they talk about these just sort of like a, a, with, with the writing crew, it's almost like the same thing with the locker room. There's a lot of, you know, backstage politics that goes along uh, with the writing team to make sure guys, you know, get stories in or get, you know, get things turned in. That way, you know, they have a, a purpose. And even though it's not the best storyline that they could go with, sometimes things get pushed through. Uh, Ryan Ward is going to get lost on a team of 18 guys writing a, writing a, uh, a show of SmackDown. Um, honestly, I, I think that uh, WWE was at its best when really there was not not this writing crew. And I knew that um, basically my prediction for this year with the uh, Wrestling Observer Prediction Show was that um, you know the WWE would would smarten up and maybe think that less is more and uh, cut half of the writing crew in half. You know, here we are um, just a few months in. We're March 10th today. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be. Um, getting that. But Ryan Ward, to me, honestly, is a guy that knocked it out of the park with NXT. Um, a great wrestling show. I think one of the things that re was really in its favor was that it's only a one-hour show, um, you know, compared to Raw at three hours or SmackDown at two hours. Um, I just hope that this guy can, can get on the SmackDown team and, and blow it out of the water, but I just don't think it's going to happen. And um, I, I wonder who's going to step in and, and be that new writer uh, for NXT. Are they going to give him just... Uh, the the bottom of the barrel guy uh, it didn't really sound like they had a successor in mind uh, maybe it's going to be a new hire that uh, Triple H takes under his wing there but um, Ryan Ward moving up to SmackDown could possibly be one of the biggest news stories of today that you're not going to hear about.